Hi, my name is Radhika Khetrpal and welcome to Radiant Sports Pick World Cup edition, a platform where we're trying to bring World Cup players of differently abled and able category together and speak about the sport, speak about cricket and its trivias and each athlete's experiences. How many people are generally involved in uh, creating these camps? So, for example, uh, we did this first camp in uh, Mysore. Uh, we saw close to around 70 people enrolling for this particular camp. And from Bangalore, from uh, Mysore, and from Uttar Karnataka. And we also had 20 plus folks uh, from Kerala district as well, you know, uh, Mysore being a uh, close proximity. And that was the first time, you know, it, it, it saw a huge, uh, uh, you know, uh, participation where close to around 60 plus folks were trained in, in uh, you know, first three days. And then we moved on to, uh, you know, in, in Bangalore, and then we did one in Belgaum and we did one in uh, Bellari as well. So every time we do this event, you know, this sport is spreading uh, throughout. Of course it is. And why not? Because it's so inspiring. It is, um, uh, you know, I mean, from where I've also been a part a little bit associated with this industry or this genre of sport for a while now. And I definitely feel like the future of differently abled any sport is very bright because now uh, at least people have started being vocal about it. And uh, people have started, uh, you know, kind of showing a little bit of interest in understanding yeah. stories. So I think the first battle of generating eyeballs is uh, working. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of television shows who are also coming up with certain content which are advocating it. You know, like you mentioned, Jaisha, there are influencers like those also who are supporting. So, um, I def definitely feel like camps like yours are very inspiring for people who are uh, differently abled and are sitting idle and being motiva uh, demotivated rather. And uh, the family is also feeling like, you know, there's no future for the child. Um, so it's, it's a very positive thing if you look at it. And kudos to you and your team to be really working this hard and kind of like uplifting the society in a manner that you are. So yeah. hats off. I mean, really, it's very, very impressive Thank and you. very inspiring. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, and uh, you know, our approach has been that, uh, you know, for any sport to, uh, you know, get popularized, you know, the wider uh, public uh, need to accept that and, and come forward and support. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we, are, we are very optimistic and we are very confident that, you know, we will definitely uh, gain that love and uh, support from our uh, general public. And, uh, and I'm just hoping that, you know, it, it is all in their hands. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, with, with their love, I think it's you know, just a matter of, uh, you know, time that uh, if, every cricketer gets paid for just playing wheelchair cricket, you know, that's that's the whole idea that we are uh, working behind. And, um, you know, yeah, so there's a lot of work and, and we are taking baby steps towards that. And, uh, you know, we are focused on work. History is being created. Rest assured, history is being created. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So uh, talking, about, uh, talking about creating history, uh, India has had a lot of victories in the World Cup and it is the World Cup season. Uh, we're in the midst of World Cup at this point of time. India is performing relatively well. It's, yeah. it's uh, you know, it's relatively on the top charts. Um, what are your thoughts on India's performance and um, upcoming matches for India? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean uh, they're one of the best teams in the world. You know that that clearly uh, shows. Uh, you know the sport has transformed uh, over the years, and uh, they they were times where we were getting uh, you know uh, pulled on with with the great teams like australia or, or south africa or new zealand for that matter so now uh, as a team india is in a commanding position and and there's no there's no fear against any other team and i believe the other teams are fearing india now so there's a whole lot of transformation which has happened i've been following uh, india's performance uh, in this particular world cup and and i think uh, both in terms of bad ball and, and on, on the field, uh, the energy and the passion and the integrity what uh, our, our team is showing, it's, it's amazing, you know, that's of a top class. And I think uh, going ahead, uh, we, we have a few tough matches and I'm on, on very confident that, you know, India, India is going to uh, make it to the end and, and finals again, you know, it's again, both the teams would have 
uh, done the best and it's just that one day they need to perform well so but still india is putting a lot of efforts in and and i hope that they bring it back to india he is hoping that india brings the cup back home considering they're playing on the home ground um shiv i also wanted to ask you the importance of since we spoke about sports revolution and how um, you know each and every sport kind of gets uh, filtered and becomes better so the performance of the team becomes uh, the best worldwide um sachin tendulkar is also the brand ambassador for the indian team this time in the world cup um what are your thoughts on the role of an iconic legendary uh, cricketer or any sports person uh, becoming the ambassador for the team i mean i understand that you know they do bring that uh, credibility and the fame value to the team and the confidence but for a player of the cricketer or for any kind of a sportsman uh, what is the impact of having an iconic uh, uh, ambassador see the uh, what an iconic player uh, does to a uh, you know amateur cricketer or or someone who's passionate about sports is that for example my jersey number 7 you know quite a few of them related to dhoni but again in fact i was as as a kid you know i was a die hard fan of uh, david beckham you know who, who plays uh, soccer so it it all started there and and uh, and then uh that number 7 uh you know has has a lot of value in terms of uh, leadership and showing um, you know sportsman spirit and and that's what it it uh, simmers down to the entire team and uh, uh rahul dravid is being brand ambassador for uh, you know blank cricket and and that that shows a lot of credibility and it motivates the entire team to perform well and and uh, for for wheelchair cricketers again you know there's been uh, uh, you know we 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 for a lot of normal cricket and we we love to interact with the normal you know like like you know likes of uh, rohit sharma or virat kohli and um, you know we we mean you know uh, it's it's sort of a, a dream that you know we get an opportunity to interact with us players and, and have them on board as the brand ambassadors for uh, different label sport and you know you know they they bring in a lot of uh, as you rightly said you know a lot of uh credibility and and popularity to the sport and uh, yeah i mean uh, you know as a, as a player point of view it it motivates and uh, you know uh, get geared up to achieve uh, what they've done in their career sure um has there ever been an opportunity for you to interact with any of the able cricketers absolutely you know i, I still i i have uh, sachin tendulkar's autograph you know in my schooling days you know we we went and visited chinna swami stadium where uh, uh, india was uh, you know participating in one of the test matches and uh, we had an exclusive opportunity to interact with with uh, indian uh, cricket team you know i i closely uh, watched uh, rahul dravid and nine mungia was the key wicket keeper in that point of time and one of the lucky few used to get sachin tendulkar's autograph and uh, very recent is that uh, when we went to uh, dubai playing against pakistan you know we had an opportunity to interact with the legendary wasim akram and uh, he came and he greeted the entire both india and pakistan team and uh, kapil dev as well and they were kind enough to you know spend some time uh, you know in in their busy schedule you know greeting the team so that's been our uh, interaction uh, Uh, latest and uh, also what an opportunity to to uh, hear to rahul dravid in bangalore uh, about blind cricket and and what sports uh, bring into one's life and so you know this has been the celebrities uh, interaction so so yeah but still we are eager to um, you know get to meet the likes of uh, virat kohli rohit sharma and uh, ravindra jadeja shuman gills of uh, current in team i hope this platform becomes that big and can po- potentially uh you know share your voice to them and you know maybe one day soon i hope that you know things work out and your wishes come true um and you don't just get an opportunity to meet them but also get an opportunity to maybe play a you know a match together or something like that so that would be fantastic that would be so entertaining to look yes, at yes yes so um, we, we had this uh, social experiment uh, where we invited the anz uh Uh, which which is the one of the leading banks you know the corporate cr- cricket team to sit on wheelchair and and play against us so probably uh, yeah you know and that's that's like icing on a cake where uh, to see virat's uh, try out uh, wheelchair cricket you know that 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 will be a, a huge thing in india for sure absolutely um so who are your what are your top four countries uh, what are your predictions who are going to make it to the semis this time 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful uh, India and New Zealand uh, as finalists and, uh, you know, though Australia got, got off, off on, on the bad note, but but they are, they are a very strong side and uh, the other two teams would be, my prediction would be South Africa and Australia for that matter. No India? No, India, New Zealand, Australia and South Africa. Okay, I thought I didn't hear India. And I was no, like, yeah. in, oh, India, I New Zealand for sure. Yeah. India, New Zealand gonna play finals, and uh, the other two teams gonna be South Africa and Australia. Yes, keeping our fingers crossed because India is soon supposed to play another match in Lucknow in two days. Yes. So um, you know, we're hoping that that match also goes really well. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's gonna be an exciting one against uh, New Zealand if I'm not wrong. Uh, so yeah, they are also a table topper, and uh, they one step ahead from us. So it it it, it will be a, a reality check for Team India, you know how how uh, it's going to be a challenge that uh, India would love to win. Any of the fields that you've played in, um, any of your personal favorite locations? So uh, you know, uh, against uh, Pakistan, we had played in uh, women's uh, ground in Dubai. You know, that is their national uh, women's team they have played. And in India, we have, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, the uh, series, I mean, India A and India B was supposed to play in the Ekana Stadium, uh, Lucknow. So, which, which were go washed away because of, uh, you know, rains. And uh, then, uh, you know, uh, we've uh, played in, uh, you know, uh, uh, MIG ground uh, where Sajin Nelikar, uh, you know, uh, used to practice there. And I, my, my last, uh, match against uh, Maharashtra wearing Karnataka jersey. I scored 120 runs, you know, at that MIT ground. And and that's where Sachin used to practice as well. So, you know, these are these are the few good grounds that I've played against. That's fantastic. So, um, I mean, I've had a fantastic conversation with you, Shiva. And uh, I hope that, you know, World Cup's just kind of like in the middle and soon kind of like results are going to be there and we'll, we'll know who are the finals and you know, things like that. So I'm hoping that we can have another chat soon, sure. uh, another Indian match and kind of like discuss uh, it. Um, till then, thank you for sharing your story with us. It's super inspiring. We hope to have more conversations and hear more exciting things that you're doing, more achievements that your team is bringing in and the impact that you're making in the ground root, grassroots level. Um, thank you so much for joining in and I hope to chat with you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. And it was uh, lovely chatting up with you folks. And uh, yeah, looking forward to another discussion. So exciting. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is Radhika Kispal signing off. You're watching Radiant Sports Fake World Cup Edition. Stay tuned for more.